Well, let's get to some breaking news from overnight. Police say a woman is dead after a nasty crash in Dearborn. Take a look at uh, the scene here. D police say the driver lost control slamming into a building. This incident taking place on Schaefer Road north of Michigan Avenue. No word yet on how many other people were with the victim or if anyone else was injured. Police and fire officials are still on the scene investigating this accident. Be sure to stay with 7 Action News on air and online as we learn more throughout the morning. Well, back here in Michigan, a new lawsuit alleging a cover up of sexual assault at Eastern Michigan University has now been formally filed. Now, we first told you that it was in the worst Monday as our Carolyn Clifford talked to the eight women who are plaintiffs in this case. They accused EMU of looking the other way as they fell victim to sexual assaults at fraternity houses. The lawsuit merges with a previous case involving 11 women. EMU recently denied allegations contained in that initial lawsuit. All right, turning now to the latest in the coronavirus pandemic here in Michigan. According to the state's dashboard, health leaders are reporting 12 additional deaths due to the virus. In total, 19,031 lives have been lost to COVID-19 since last March. Now, the state is also reporting nearly 800 new cases. The total number of cases since last March now stands at more than 886,000. President Biden is now ordering U.S. intelligence agencies to redouble their efforts to investigate the origins of COVID-19. Now, this news comes ahead of First Lady Jill Biden's visit to Grand Rapids today. Later this morning, she'll be visiting a vaccination clinic at Grand Rapids Community College. The trip aims to highlight the partnership between the federal government, retail pharmacies, and community colleges. You'll notice it's much cooler this morning than it was 24 hours ago. Temperatures around 50 degrees to start. It's going to be a bright morning. More clouds move in this afternoon. No rain in the forecast today, but we'll end the day cloudy after starting out sunny. So highs today close to 70, but tomorrow rain likely. Now rain begins around midnight tonight. Rain's going to continue all morning tomorrow, maybe through the afternoon too. A high of only 50 degrees, windy, cold, and wet tomorrow. Saturday though and Sunday, which a big improvement. Mid 60s Saturday with plenty of sunshine, 70. Sunday afternoon. Not a bad Memorial Day weekend, but it's a tough start to the weekend. Tomorrow's going to be a tough day for us. Wet, windy, and cold.